What's going on ladies and gents, it's your boy Elixir, and today we're going to be talking about Ubisoft's brand new game named X Defiant. It's aimed to compete with Call of Duty, and so far the reviews have been pretty good, uh, and it seems like they've been listening to the community. So, with that out of the way, I just want to talk about the game, what I think, how it plays, and to get to an answer of the for the question, could it be the COD killer people are hoping for? But before I dive into all that, be sure to leave a like or a dislike. Leave a comment down below about your experience with X Defiant. Check me out on Twitch where I stream Rainbow Six Siege, Counter Strike, X Defiant, and even games like Drug Dealer Simulator. Also, subscribe for Maple. If you don't, you're a mean person. With that out of the way, let's get into it. So, right off the bat, X Defiant launched on May 21st, 2024, and it definitely didn't launch in the best state. Some of the most significant issues included server stability, matchmaking problems, hit registrations, performance issues, weapon and faction balance, movement mechanics. But at the time of this video, a lot of the stuff has been fixed from what I've seen and felt in game myself. And I'm genuinely surprised Ubisoft is listening to community feedback and nerfed the movement in the game and fixed up the server for a more enjoyable experience because, Lord knows, all my Siege friends beg you be for things and they don't listen whatsoever so hopefully they keep up the good communication with the community like they've done so far now for the pros and cons let's start off with the cons while ubisoft has made updates to the game's balance in many regards it still feels like the echelon and the cleaners have a clear advantage over other factions besides the dead sec faction with the spider bot that thing is ridiculous but i will admit being able to just throw down a shield and win a gunfight even if you're caught off guard is broken as fuck also, DeadSec passive is wild. Being able to 3D print a grenade every 30 seconds is crazy to me. Where is bro even printing this thing? His ass? On top of that, that MP7 still seems to be reigning supreme despite some changes made to it. Rifles, snipers, and pistols seem to be pretty balanced in my opinion though. Another big downside for me is how grindy the game feels for a lack of reward. Leveling up weapons and using all the abilities for each faction feels more like a chore than something to go for. Thankfully, they updated it a bit with the weapons, but it still feels like a lot in my opinion, especially with how many levels there are on the guns. It just feels like it takes too long. I think one way around that is giving you the option to put on a sight at level 1. Ubisoft has never done very good with iron sights in my opinion, and especially from what I know of on Siege. Ooh. Brother, ooh. What's that? What's that, brother? But if you take this grindy feeling that you get from the game and mix it with the repetitiveness, repetitiveness okay. of it, it gets pretty old pretty fast. I think one of the biggest downsides of Exifying is it lacks a lot of character and unique personality. Having a couple of factions with various abilities and ultimates isn't exactly unique, and the gameplay obviously isn't either. And to be honest, I really think they're trying far too hard to put the game's backbone on a lack of SBMM. It's a it's great that the game doesn't have it because I can log in, genuinely turn my brain off and have a good time. But basing your game's marketing on that, I think will eventually run dry and rather quickly. So hopefully Ubisoft comes up with something to set it apart from COD because right now it feels like a watered down version of that and more generic. But that's it for the cons for me. Let's talk about the pros of the game. First things first, not having SBMM is great. And I want to clarify so no one gets this shit mixed up. I said marketing the game and putting its backbone on a lack of SBMM is not the best of ideas. But having no SBMM is cool. Don't get it twisted, fuckhead. Anyway, having a game where I can genuinely go have some fun without worrying about playing sweats or whatever else is extremely nice. Yes, I know I'll still play against some movement demons, but I can always back out and go find a different game because I'm going to be honest. Ain't nobody got time for that. Plus, the guns feel really good in the game. They genuinely feel satisfying to use and get kills with, especially when there's an enemy sniper who's doing well and then you pull out a sniper and absolutely shit on them. Yeah, that's peak. But good guns and no SBMM can only take you so far. Thankfully, Ubisoft cooked up some pretty good maps, and I like that they do have some connection with some of their IPs that I Ubisoft does have rights to for example tom clancy watchdogs far cry and whatever else also movement actually feels pretty smooth not as smooth as cod but it's in a good spot i'd say especially with the bunny hopping nerf i remember seeing one guy b hopping to the max in a game i played before and it was super annoying i really like the fact that ubisoft also added input based matchmaking not having to deal with roller players who think they're good because they have the terminator aim for them is always a blessing to be honest i'd rather not play against cheaters yes i said that i'll make a video on that in the future so subscribe and if you're a cheater 
Sorry. I mean controller player on PC and you're upset about that comment. Kick rocks, bro. Learn to aim without assistance. Anyway, Mark Rubin has also been extremely active with the community, which is great and is keeping people updated, which is always just the cherry on top. It's honestly great to see someone so high up in the development of the game making comments about community feedback and keeping them updated. I definitely think that's one thing Riot does well with Valorant and many more companies should follow. And going back to the factions, their gadgets are fun to use and have some great impact to them. Like when you're playing as the Libertad and you get your ult and counter a cleaner's ult with it. Or when you're last alive on your team as a cleaner and use your flamethrower to clear a site. Or you become a mobile tank with the Phantom's ability. They can all be game changing, but I like that they don't feel super imposing if you're going against them because they can all be countered. So overall, I think X Defiant is a pretty good game, but I do think Ubisoft has a lot cut out for them in terms of keeping the players interested since the game is repetitive, lacks a truly standout identity and making it the quote unquote COD killer people want it to be. And if you haven't tried the game out yet or played when the netcode and aiming felt off, I'd say give it a chance since they updated the game and go from there. I think the game will have a pretty good lifespan, especially if they keep up with the communication to the community. With that said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Leave a like or dislike if you're a crusty controller player. Comment down below with your thoughts. Check me out on Twitch and subscribe for Maple unless you're evil. Peace. Enemy echelon is tracking the drone on target.